Welcome to Bus Driver Life. I am a public transit bus driver in Sacramento, California, and I'm going to bring you to work with me on this day. And here I am on my bus. And actually at this point now, I'm kind of crying a little bit because I'm actually working my day off. Here's the bus driver's area and you can see on the bus stop sign there it says 87. I am operating the route 87 on my day off. There's two random cars leaving the bus only area and there goes a bus. This bus belongs. That bus should be there. I don't know where those cars came from. Stay out. But here's a map of the Route 87. It has service from Marconi Arcade Light Rail Station. The main street that it operates on is Howe Avenue in Sacramento, and it goes to Sacramento State University, and it terminates at University 65th Light Rail Station. Okay, but first things first, let me close my doors here. I'm gonna go do something extremely important before I start off on this next trip. I'm gonna go use the restroom. Now it can be difficult to find a restroom as a bus driver, but you see this little shack here? We're actually provided with a restroom at this light rail station. And it's authorized personnel only, so that's me. I'm authorized and I'm personnel. What? Now let's head back to the bus because I have to get on my way to University 65th light rail station. So there's the beautiful Gillick BRT Plus bus. Let's open the door back up and let's get to work. See you on the other side. Okay, we have arrived to the end of route or end of the route. We are at 65th Street Light Rail Station and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what you will see at this light rail station. Of course, you'll see lots of buses arriving and departing. There's a few different routes that serve this station. And of course, you will see light rail trains. So here's one arriving right now. So this light rail station is located by Student Housing for Sacramento State University. And we've got some stores here. And I'm actually gonna go into the world famous 7-Eleven and get myself a snack that would be deemed unhealthy. So you can see that they have a lot of um, candy bars and chips. But what I'm gonna get, I think I'm in the mood for nacho so let's go over to the nacho bar which i guess is also the hot dog bar or the polish bar it has all the toppings and whatnot so check it out it needs to be clean that's nasty so despite the dirty area in 7-eleven i still went ahead and i got the nachos with cheese because they taste good right or they should taste good and i'm gonna see how much time i have left by the time i get back to my bus to eat the nachos look at that i have about three minutes that's more than enough time for me to finish at least a few of these delectable cheesy nachos with cheese this is what bus driver break time looks like and there are people waiting so i have to hurry up Okay, now let's take a look around the bus and see what messes have been left behind. Up, oh, some sort of substance on the seat. I don't know what that is. And, um, you know, it's not looking too bad. Shout out to American Seating for providing the seating on the bus. 
Oh, here's a wrapper, people. Throw your stuff in the trash. Come on now. And you know, these uh, extremely hard plastic seats, which are actually easier to clean than cloth seats are um, looking pretty good. Except, oh, look on the floor here. We have a unfinished lollipop. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, got some on the window, some uh, graffiti written on paper or a sticker. We have some sort of white substance on the seat. It's, um, yeah, that I don't know what that is, but it's a substance. And it's white, and it's there, so don't sit there. I don't have cleaning materials. They don't provide us with cleaning materials because they have a crew that cleans the buses. So anyway, here's my bus. We are now parked at the other end of the route, which is the Marconi Arcade Light Rail Station. So you can see this beautiful Gillick BRT bus. It's powered by clean, natural gas, not diesel. So yeah, here is the Light Rail Station. It looks like a light rail station because it is. Thanks, Captain Obvious. And let's walk. We're gonna walk. We're doing more walking. I'm not sure I'm interested in that. And we're gonna take a look at the place where you can purchase tickets for the train. And there you go, isn't that fancy? So here you can see some signage showing off the rules at the light rail station. And you can see the wheelchair ramp because we have high floor trains, but we have some new trains that are in now that are being tested that are low floor. Then you see the Marconi Arcade destination sign and the connect card tap on screen. So now to end the night, I'll be doing the Route 26, which leaves University 65th, travels up Fulton and goes all the way to Watt and Alberta, way up in the North Highlands area of Sacramento County. Okay, so after about an hour of driving, I'm at Watt in Alberta. Here's the intersection. I'm at the end of the line of the Route 26. I was driving the 87 all day. One last trip on the 26. Now time to get back to the yard to park. Finally, I'm done for the day, and you can see here parked in the employee parking lot a bunch of brand new Gillick BRT Plus buses. So they are not yet in service, but they will be soon, obviously. And here's another one. So I'm done for the day. Thank you for watching my vlog.